What's up guys? This is Convict for my first After Effects tutorial. I'm going to be covering masking today. So I'll be covering stroking, which is the line around a certain object. Um, mask transitions, and then just masking a moving object frame by frame like you would see in, uh, or like you might do in Sony Vegas or something like that. Just because the keyframe is kind of weird in uh, After Effects. So, um, <clears throat> I just made this white solid just to show the contrast between like the actual clip when I when I mask it out. All right, so I guess we'll start with the mass transition. And for this clip, I mean, I I usually choose objects to mask in. I don't want to bring in like an empty space. Like sometimes people, will, you know, maybe mask in like they'll be they'll be top gold and there'll be a big empty space for top mid and they'll mask that piece in first and that just doesn't make any sense to the viewer because they're seeing this big empty space being masked in you want to see objects masked in so anyway um, I first want to just mention how whenever I uh, transition in with a mask I'll bring up time remapping so you can right click the clip time timer mapping or you can press control alt t and it'll bring it up for that layer also so I'll set a frame, or I'll keyframe that um, the frame that I want to mask in on, and then I'm going to delete the very first frame. And what that does is making it a still frame for the whole time. That way, when I'm doing a mask transition, and I have this object cut out, the frames before it aren't going to interfere. I'm not going to have a cutout of that area, but other video beneath it. I'm just going to have that staircase. Um, okay. So anyway. Bring up, I press H, that's how I bring up my hand tool so I can drag it around, and G also brings up the pen tool. So I'm just going to do a quick little mask, I'm not going to take a ton of time on this just because it's a tutorial. I also wanted to um, bring to your attention that I have the world's crappiest computer, so that's why the resolution is kind of different. It looks like my After Effects is made in, for Windows 95 or something like that. It's not. I just turned my resolution down to 1280 by 768 or something like that. So I can actually run this smoothly because otherwise it lags terribly. <sighs> Alright. So we have this object masked on. And um, let's just pretend that this white solid is a clip playing underneath. Like, you know, somebody just got a triple kill. And now we want to bring this. Um, this new clip in with the mass transition. There's tons of different ways you can do it and uh, jazz it up a little bit, but uh, I guess the first way would just be a fade in, which so I press T to bring up opacity, put that at 100, and then uh, zero over here. So for the clip, it would just kind of fade its way in, but that's kind of boring, so we're going to actually make it slide in. By doing that, you uh, bring up the position. So I press P to bring up the position, U to bring up everything that's keyframed in this uh, on this layer. And now I'm going to pull it over. This is the where my cursor is. This is the X dimension. This is the Y dimension. So X on the Y dimension it goes up and down. On the X dimension, left and right. So we're going to slide it out. And then if we play it, it just slides in like that. And then if you see right after that frame, it looks all weird because that cutout's still there, but the video actually starts playing again. So I'll, I'll show you how to do, deal with that after. Now that's pretty boring, so we're actually going to mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to press R to bring up the rotation. And uh, let's just rotate it a little bit and see if that adds any difference to our animation. It kind of slides in a little differently. You know, there's other effects you can apply to it as well. Like, I usually do turbulent displace because it just... Um, Show you. It makes it all kind of wobbly like that, so it gives it a little bit of animation when it comes in. So you just keyframe the amount, start at 50, I mean you can tweak that, and then when it lands in you want it to be at zero because you want your clip to play uh, with the normal image. Alright, so now we have that sliding in, I'm going to press Control D to duplicate the layer. I'm going to take the mask off the bottom layer, and also I'm going to... Um, keyframe the opacity on so what this does is it's going to slide in and then right after that slides in the actual image of the whole video without the mask is going to come on All right. 
pretty simple stuff.